we think for Barcelona. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. PK starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And up front, leading the line, is Antoine Griezmann. lineup for Liverpool and you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team high pressing well high pressing high energy I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham it doesn't half work when it works well sometimes you can just get exposed to the back but they've got it down to a tee to be fair couldn't hang on to it Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Sadio Mane off the... The goal from Salah. It's strange when he doesn't score these days. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. A goal it is! A confidently taken penalty! See it again here, Derek. Looks easy, doesn't it? I can tell you it isn't. I'm telling you now. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. And that is that. The referee blows for full time. So many people thought this would be a very tight, tense contest. And Lee Dixon, that's exactly how things turned out. Half-time, Derek, in this tie, and you have to say, you can't separate the two teams. This could go either way, nothing between them. One of the coaches might make the difference in the second leg, I wonder. rated Brazilian Alisson begins between the posts. Virgil van Dijk plays with Joe Gomez in the fullback positions. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide and leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Clément Langlais plays alongside Piquet in the middle of the defence. And up front, leading the line, is Antoine Griezmann. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Well, four goals in his last three games. He's in superb form. He's going to be really hard to stop. The defenders need to be on their game. Delivery from Salah here. It might be. And a timely goal to give them security and breathing room. What a chance they have now of making it through. Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. Now Mo Salah. Firmino. Sometimes you can't argue with top-notch defending. A really sumptuous ball. He's got to score! Just what the Liverpool fans wanted to see as they extend the lead to two goals. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper has every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end, he's thinking now, is he going to pass or go around? He's got no chance. Breaking at pace. And very deftly cut out. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Nothing wrong with that idea. And they've found a way through. Is 
momentum with them now. One more goal and they will progress. Well, as we can see, it's all about the technique. That's where the power comes from. Blistering shot. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. And now it is all over. Liverpool have ascended to the high altar of the Champions League final. Well, just look at the celebrations, Derek. You can see how much it means to them. Really wasn't much in it over two legs, to be fair. They were tested all the way, but that's the sign of champions, and you have to say they'll fancy their chances now. What a final it promises to be.